Under different circumstances, Norma Pino of Little Falls, New Jersey, would be jumping for joy over her new set of wheels. And this is a new vehicle because you lost two in the flood? Oh. Yes, I just bought my son one in June and it went. It was total. Mines, I just paid it off. Only, it was only two years old and it was total. So now I got to spend money to buy more. But the vehicle purchase is just another step in her family's tedious ongoing cleanup process following storm flooding, which has turned her neighborhood into a ghost town. There are empty homes up and down her block. Most of them, my neighbors don't have flood insurance. Oh, and some of them, if they do, it only covers the foundation of the house. And I just got here. When did you move here? Uh, June, the last week of June. This year? Of this year. It's only been like, what, two months I've been living here. But there is some good news. After several days of pleading for additional financial assistance, Thursday afternoon, FEMA inspectors, armed with the power of the federal government, began surveying Little Falls and other flood-damaged towns in the Garden State. All they said was they're assessing the damages in all the houses, and if the damage is enough, they'll help us. And a statement from FEMA reads, quote, if the damages are determined to be of a magnitude beyond state and local resources, the governor may request federal assistance in designated areas to assist in recovery. And the information that FEMA inspectors gather today is going to be passed along to the state for its review. We're live in Little Falls, New Jersey tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News. All right.